You need suction cups because Apple, because screws are bad. So suction cups, you know. Maybe better suction cups than this. Yeah. Come on. No, don't stay stuck. There you go. Screws, so many screws. IMAX have so many screws. This is being shot with the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4 with a bunch of letters after it. The contemporary lens. Magnets, so many magnets. Man, Apple made some really weird choices back then. I think I forgot a step. See, there's this memory door on the bottom. Probably with a bigger Phillips than that, at least. Yep. Let's take that out. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I don't remember everything. All right, be careful, because there's cabling right there. Pulling this connector is relatively easy. Look at that. Do you see that? Because I sure do. A T8 is all you need. Gently pull the screen forward here. Take a peek. Okay, there's a connector up here. Right here, you can't see it on the camera, but there's a connector up here. Two of them, actually. They go to the inverters. Then, as you get in, see these two that went to the inverters here? There's two more inverter connectors down here. I'm just leaning it on my stomach for now. And the screen cable is right here. And you need to peel the tape off of it. Tape. And it has two things you have to pinch like this to release it. You may have to use a couple fingers you may have to get creative. You may have to pull one side out at a time like I just did. There's another piece of tape holding it to the screen here. Lift that up and get it out of the way. And then a third one down at the bottom. And the screen. Try to peel this plastic thing up, but it looks like it's just gonna crumble for me. Yeah. It's just gonna crumble for me. Crud. Yeah, whatever. One nuisance. All right, there's gotta be a connector down here. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, what you got here, boys? It's under this foam. Oh, it's under this foam. So under this foam right here, there's a connector for what is almost certainly some kind of temperature sensor. All right, cut the wire. Cut the wire. Pull up this strip, pull up this strip, and now the screen should lift out. <laughs> Revealing the unholy innards of the iMac. So there's a handle here. At least it looks like a handle. 
Yeah, push it down. And guess what pivots up and out? Be careful not to damage the wire that goes to the optical drive there. And you need to take this temperature sensor off the hard drive here. Okay. Unhook the drive itself. Now, <clears throat> we need to put a solid state drive in. There's really nowhere to mount it. So what we're gonna have to do is just stick it in here like this. We can probably go ahead and slap this temperature sensor on it. Doesn't matter all that much. Goopy tape anyway. And speaking of tape, you can literally just tape it into place. I'm not kidding. In fact, now that I'm looking at it, let's invert these cables. Yeah, put the temperature sensor back down on it for no good reason. And this thing can literally just be taped in place. No joke. We got the uh, heat sink cleaned up with an air compressor. I'm gonna put one more high quality uh, plain boring clear tape thing here just for reassurance. And then there's another issue. This hard drive, this uh, assembly that goes with it, we'll probably need to send that back to the customer. So I'll give them their old hard drive since it has the bits needed. So we've just done a solid state upgrade. Now we need to get that screen put back in, which is sometimes easier and sometimes not. Depending on the mood of the computer, usually. So the screen needs to go back in. So the screen's cables need to be hung up temporarily somewhere so that you can grab them and it won't fall back in. But yeah, you see the problem. And what year Mac do you think you are? The copyright is 2008, so it's probably a 2008 iMac. Have fun. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Feel free to give me money if this has helped you. There are support links down below. Have a good one.